Chris, you're alive? Yeah, and I have a couple questions. You compared us. You said as a youth, we're both intermittently reckless, moody, and we just followed our obsessions. And your obsession was mountain climbing. Mine was living in transcendental life. What do you say at that? I wrote that passage because it allows the audience to understand you through ethos appeal. I am a version of you, okay? The passage enables the audience to have an emotional connection with you. All right, what about this? You said I like Christmas candles. I saw a raw youth who mistook passion for insight and that you climbed devil's thumb because you thought it would fix all that's wrong with your life. Why do you even include this anecdote? I feel that because of my experiences, I have a better understanding of your thoughts and through my writing, people are able to understand you better. In essence, you're a manifestation of me. This is my last question. At the end of the book, you wrote that I was happy and at peace finally. Word for word, you wrote, but he pitied himself in those last difficult hours because his will had let him down. But it's not apparent from the photograph. From the photograph, it shows Chris McHale's at peace, serene as a monk, gone to God. What compelled you to write this? No one knows your thoughts. I just thought that since you're smiling at, in your photo, it just, it shows that even though you were defeated, you were still at peace, because you were happy. Chris, I want you to know that the reason I wrote this book was through our experiences, I am able to show that you're not just some naive teenager who, who died. I didn't want people to think of it like that. I didn't want someone to write something like that. I, it's through my writing that I'm able to show that what you experience is peace. You're able to strive for happiness, and I'm able to give the audience that connection that they deserve to know.